G'day, Keza from Kesbar Brewery. Just thought I'd show you for Beer Fun Friday what the postie just bring for me. Woo! Now, guys, I just thought I might do another update on the uh, brew I did from last Saturday. Well, I'll see how it's going. Nice big thick crowsing, and uh, she's smelling good. I'm going to dry hop it shortly with uh, another 30 grams of Zythos. Alright, I've had a few questions about um, why have I got an upside down fire extinguisher on my fermenting fridge. Well, it used to be my serving fridge. I used to have a couple of kegs in there, used the Pluto gun, but um, now I just use it for fermenting since I've got my kegerator. But uh, yeah, it's upside down because it's still got the dip tube in it. It was brand new. It is just normal CO2. It works, doesn't impart any flavours, and uh, the only problem with having the dip tube in it is it's got to be upside down, otherwise you'll start sucking liquid CO2. And it's uh, not very nice. But anyway guys, it's uh, pretty simple to do. I had the brackets from work, but um, yeah, you can. I've seen guys hang them upside down from poles under their house with ratchet straps or tie down straps. So, yeah, it's a cheaper alternative than buying a, a gas bottle. And you can just go to a fire extinguisher joint, get them to take the dip tube out and uh, refill it for you. And it's usually a lot cheaper. So, it's, uh, I think it cost me 40 about 40 bucks to get it filled and it's a 5 kilo extinguisher so um, next time when that one runs out I'll uh, get the dip tube taken out and keep it as a spare so, a couple of shout outs uh, Justin Elder mate. good to have you in the, the brew club Bubbles and Chalk uh, Chubby thanks for the uh, the uh, editing program I uh, downloaded it last night and I can finally actually use my camera instead of my phone. Um, and Tiny. Couldn't have done it without you, mate. Alright, guys. Happy Beer Fun Friday.